if that occurs, there is a real risk that you will trigger an outbreak that you may not be able to control, which in fact, paradoxically will set you back, not only leading to some suffering and death that could be avoided, but could even set you back on the road to trying to get economic recovery. Because it would almost turn the clock back. Shalom, I want to give all the glory and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Wakakudash, like your double honors to our apostles and elders and great millstone. Salutations to our sincere brothers, push this word out across the four corners of the earth. This lesson is entitled, Don't Get Too Excited About This Reopening. Because that's the hopeful let. We know that Esau has to do what he has to do to enforce his so called New World Order. So they go by trial errors and trial runs, different phases to see how the people are going to react so they can fulfill their so-called new world order. But the majority of these people, especially the ones of our people, are looking forward to things to get back to normal so they can get back on their feet, so they can live the life that they used to live before this so-called coronavirus situation. So now you see the news all throughout mainstream news as well, that they are pushing about reopening America. And a lot of these top health officials are warning the government about it's too soon to be able to do this in the midst of a so-called pandemic known as this so-called coronavirus. So these different health officials are warning these different government officials about not opening it too soon because these Americans are gonna be at a very high risk of catching this so-called virus. So this is the book of Psalm 141 and 9. Keep me from the snares which they had laid for me, and the gins of the workers of iniquity. So a snare or a gin is like a trap. It's like a setup. And that's exactly what these workers of iniquity are doing. That's talking about these elites, the ones that actually pull strings in this society, the true puppet masters in this society. They appoint different presidents. They pay both sides of the wars. You know, the so-called Illuminati. So keep me from the snares which they have laid for me and the gins of the workers of iniquity. Because what they're doing is nothing but wickedness in order to fulfill their so-called new world order. Well, that's a hopeful let. That's the spirit we're supposed to be in. Asking you, how are you, how are to keep us away from those traps, those different snares and setups? Because a lot of our people are going to fall right into it. Just like, for example, you have them reopen the different gyms, salons, beauty shops, and certain bars. So it's not wise to go in that type of establishment and sit in and dine in like it's just something normal like you used to do. Because what they're doing is test trials. And let's just say, for example, it might be an outbreak come out in that particular city or area where you went to that restaurant at. And just speculating through the spirit, they can be able to trace back and see where have you been such and such date? What location have you been at? But what they're doing, they are just testing. They running test trials on the people. And they're using this reopening America tactic to the masses to let them know that, okay, we care. We trying to get you back on your feet. They're going to use this coronavirus as a scapegoat and be like, we opened America up too soon. So you have to watch these doubles. That's why it says they keep me from the snares which they have laid for me and the gins of the workers of iniquity. But these American sheeple and the majority of our people are going to get caught right into the snares of this devil. Verse 10, let the wicked fall into their own nets, whilst that I withal escape. So their own nets is going to their new world order because pursuant to the book of Joel, the fifth chapter, they really think that they're going to fulfill their new world order. Like sit down at the table, kick their feet up, and just enjoy their so-called new world order forever. But not knowing that your house shot is going to checkmate their ass and he's going to set up his righteous new world order, which is going to the kingdom of heaven. So I have like a few articles. I'm not going to read all of them. I will leave them in the description box. The ones that are in the know of this, they know that this American system is just setting up the American sheeple for this so-called reopening. Get them to go into their businesses, thinking that things are going back to normal. Then, then and that's when they're going to hit them with this second wave. So right here, this is from naturalnews.com. It says, Moody's warns new coronavirus wave will plunge U.S. economy into depression. This was published on May 12, 2020. The U.S. economy is currently in a precarious situation. And precarious meaning that it's on a brink of a collapse. It's insecure. It's shaky. 
and what states would do next can either make it or break it. According to Mark Zandi, the chief economist of global financial intelligence firm Moody's Analytics, many states are taking a huge risk by reopening from the lockdown. A new outbreak, he warns, can taint the economy further. If we get a second wave, it will be a depression, he said on CNBC's Trade Nation. We may not shut down again, but certainly it will scare people and spook people and weigh on the economy. In particular, 12 months or more of double-digit unemployment comprises a depression, according to Zandi. Employment falls sharply across all industries. He says, economists have said that while April's job loss data would be worse during the pandemic, it's a long road to recovery. Many predict that it could take months for the labor market to start adding jobs, and it will take years to fully replace jobs lost in the pandemic. Since 26 states have already allowed some businesses to reopen, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Maine, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, West Virginia, and Wyoming. For many who flout the measures, they agreed the restrictions are effective. However, they said that their lives cannot continue without them getting income. In fact, many of these businesses are eligible for the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP, a loan designed to provide small businesses with incentives for keeping their workers. I have not heard of a single business owner that I know or work with that has actually received any PPP money, said small business owner Chuck Roulette. Speaking to the Epoch Times via email, no PPP money and no income means they have to reopen. We are more concerned about our financial futures than a virus. That is how I feel and it is how my small business owner clients feel as well. So these American sheeple are restless. They're tired sitting at home. They're tired of losing money. So now they don't even care. They do attract this so-called coronavirus by going back to work. Only thing in their minds is by feeding their families, taking care of bills, and getting back on their feet. That's why this business owner said that we are more concerned about our financial futures than the virus. So these elites are molding these American people right in the hands of their new world order plan. So what they do, they create the problem. Then secondly, you fan the flames to get a reaction. Then thirdly, you provide a solution. And that solution is what you are wanting to achieve in the first place. And that's that new world order. And all of this is called order of chaos. Out of chaos comes order. And what's that order? That new world order. Well, these elites will not be able to achieve under normal circumstances if they came to the masses like this. So they use this so-called coronavirus pandemic as a scapegoat to scare the masses, keep them fear, and pretty much have them begging to go back to work even in the midst of this so-called coronavirus. So now they pushing out information about getting vaccines and making that mandated. This is 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter and the fourth verse, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. So the God of this world is orchestrated by Satan and his physical counterpart is Esau, the so-called Caucasian race. It's going to the elites, the ones that actually pull strings in this society. So he had blinded majority of these people, especially the ones of our people. And you might have a, a small few of our people who might question this stuff like, man, I don't trust that. That don't seem right. But for the majority part, a lot of our people are running right there like guinea pigs, ready to be slaughtered. So lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. And right now, he's only shining to the elect of the nation of Israel. Those are the ones that have that spiritual eye salve. They can see through the lies, the deceptions, the snares and gins and traps that Esau is putting on these masses. But that's exactly what he's doing. And this is another article from National News. It says, new studies warn that coronavirus cases could soar if children are let back into schools too soon. And this was published on May 11, 2020. Whether or not children can transmit the coronavirus is key to deciding whether and when schools should open. Two new studies provide compelling evidence that children can transmit the virus and that schools should remain closed for now. Fewer children seem to get infected by the coronavirus and those who do only have mild symptoms. 
However, the question remains of whether they can pass it on to adults, continuing the chain of transmission. So you have in these other countries like France, Finland, Germany, Netherlands, Israel, that they are in the stages of reopening, and some have already reopened. But the point of the matter is that these studies are warning increased transmission if schools do reopen. So they feel like the more that people are out and about, things of that sort, then the more they can attract this so-called coronavirus. And you have to think about Esau, he's very cunning. He's very strategic. However, he does his case studies. So this is nothing but a case study right here. And that should open the minds of our people if they are already predicting another wave in the fall. But majority of our people don't catch on to that because ultimately, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah doesn't want them to catch on to that. This article also came out, it says, second wave of coronavirus infections about to hit Germany as country relaxes lockdowns and social distancing regulations. This was published on May 12, 2020. The second wave of coronavirus infections is starting to hit Germany just as the country's leaders loosen lockdown and social distancing restrictions. So this is nothing but trial runs, what they are doing in Germany. You already know they're saving the best for last, America, known as Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. So if they're doing case trials in Germany and Wuhan because they are saying that people who was once tested positive with, with this so-called coronavirus, then so-called got rid of it. Now they're again tested again positive again with this so-called coronavirus. They keep speaking about this second wave. You go to all the mainstream news channels, that's what you keep hearing about, this second wave. If you're just speculating through the spirit, this second wave could actually be a real pestilence that Yahweh Yahweh Shah is going to put on the spirit of Esau to unleash out here. And a lot of these people will get caught up in it, especially the ones of our people. So this is the book of Job 21 16. Lo, their good is not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. And we already know the wicked is talking about the Edomite nation. And more so it's going into the elites of the Edomite nation because this is their counsel. This new world order, that's that enterprise that's mentioned in the book of Joel is talking about. I'm going to jump down to verse 27. Behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which he wrongfully imagined against me. Because like I stated earlier, these elites thinking they're going to go ahead and fulfill the new world order. Maintain human population of 500 million, as it says in the Georgia Guidestones. And they can just kick back and relax and have everybody microchip in this system. It's not going to work out like that in their favor. So Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, he knows the thoughts and the devices that these elites are wrongfully imagining against him because they think that they are going to be in control forever and that Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is not coming back. But that's going to be their surprise. It leads me to Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty, going to these elites, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Let's see what the word enterprise goes into on in the mind online. You look right here, it says undertake, take in hand. So this whole ordeal with the coronavirus pandemic, how they're going to force people to get vaccines, is ultimately leading to that microchip, which is the mark of the beast in the scriptures. As it says in Revelation 13, chapter 16, verse, that he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that's the only device that's out here in the news that correlates with Revelation 13, 16. It's the microchip, the RFID technology. It says take in hand. And that's the ultimate step what these elites want to do. That's going right into their genes, their snares, their traps, their setups, their wicked thoughts. As it says in the book of Micah, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. And they're devising this new world order plan. That's that enterprise. So a lot of these American sheep are thinking that things are going to get back to normal. But they're definitely going to be upset about that because it's definitely not. As you can see, it's the new norm. You see people wearing gloves everywhere. You know, people walking with masks on everywhere. This is the so-called new norm. It's only going to get worse. But they're going to mold it to the public as if we are reopening America. So we can get these Americans back on their feet. Because at the end of the day, these elites want to fulfill their new world order. They are not getting any younger, so they won't fulfill this new world order by microchipping every single individual on this planet Earth. That's that enterprise, which means take in hand. And with that, hope you all were edified. Shalom.